a key value uh, data store, as you described, uh, Valky is, how does that differ from a relational database like Postgres or MySQL? Yeah, that's a fundamental question that really goes back to my roots of designing, of designing uh, databases and doing data modeling, right? So essentially, relational databases like Postgres or MySQL are built around the concept of tables and structure, rows, columns, right? So there's this referential integrity that you try to reduce the amount of copies of the data. And this is a design back from the 70s where disk was expensive, right? Mm -hmm. So that means that you wanted to keep as, as uh, references or by using uh, directionally items that will tie the data together. So this is great uh, and it's super flexible with the SQL query language. You can join all these pieces together and represent the data in the way that you need it. But that comes with slowness, right? So you need to understand the queries and then go back to this, fetch the data from it, and then bring it back to represent to the to the application. On the other hand, key value data stores like Valky are completely different, right? So essentially you have a giant hash table or dictionary where you have a key and then a value that is what you need, right? So this is a it's a different mindset where you use these databases where you already know what to look for and what to expect. Of course, the uh, the value that Valky brings is that it supports multiple different uh, data types as the values. So it could be it could be also complex, right? It could be collections or things that are meant to to give you uh, ultra fast performance. So from my experience in the creating applications doing this, you can really change the way that applications. Uh, give you responses, right? Especially given on time and the scale that you can get. Because at the end of the day, when you're relational databases, uh, you can just have as many requests as the disk can give you. And then you can just have copies of it. Uh, with a key value database, you can shard it. That means you can partition it and scale essentially un virtually unlimited uh, horizontally. Uh, okay. So for example, in one of the applications that I did, it went back went down from 400 milliseconds to under 50 milliseconds in response times. Yeah, so a huge difference in speed. 